trying to give the Cardinals some love, but it's not sticking up. <laughs> I'm trying. Hey, it still fits. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting reproduced. That's nice. Little man, big moves. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it, man. All right, St. Louis 7. How long did it take you before you realized St. Louisans were obsessed with where people went to high school? You talking about me? How long? Yeah. I don't know. I never thought about it. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Cardiac Cards or Greatest Show on Turf, which was better? Cardiac Cards, no doubt. What made them better, Terry? And don't be modest. What made you. Better. Because no matter what the score was, no matter how much time was left on the clock, we still had the ability to win. And a lot of times we did. We had to come from behind and uh, take them by the throat and, and put them down. 73 to 77, was St. Louis a football town? Yes, it was. Uh, we, we packed that stadium. Uh, the Cardinals, Don Coriel, Jim Hartner, Dre Jackson Smith, Joe Gibbs, the list goes on and on. We filled it up because we, even though they called the Rams the greatest show on earth, we were the greatest. The cardiac kids were the greatest. You beat the Cowboys. Where do you go for dinner to celebrate? Uh, anywhere. <laughs> it didn't matter. As long as we beat them, I could eat a French fry. I would be, I would be <laughs> happy because we beat the Cowboys. I mean, they were a rival, and they were a good team, a well-coached team. But beating them just gave us a better feeling about ourselves and how good we were. You live in Seattle now. Do you ever miss yourself a little Emo's Pizza? Uh, no, because I don't eat a lot of pizza anymore. So, uh, but no, living in Seattle, I, I, I just love eating. <coughs> Excuse me, um, quality food that makes me feel better. Excuse me. So as we get ready to wrap this up, again, St. Louis 7, if you want to see other 7s, just subscribe on the YouTube channel, O2 with Oliver. If you want to go check out Terry's podcast conversation, I had a ball. Did you have a good time? Yes, I did. Thank we you. talked about a lot of stuff. but A lot it, of stuff. Yeah, it was good. So it's O2 with Oliver, wherever you get it. Is there anything about St. Louis that you missed, Terry? Unfair question. Yeah, the fact that I was in there for five years playing with the St. Louis Cardinals and we turned that organization around for those five years. We did some things that other teams had, other St. Louis teams hadn't done. And uh, we made people sit on the edge of their seats. We made them come to the Bush Stadium to fill up that stadium. So, yeah, I had some real good time. I mean, honestly, I missed those, those five years. I wish they could have went longer, but, you know, that was out of our hands. When people ask you about St. Louis, what do you tell them? I tell them it's cold. <laughs> it can get extremely hot. It was a great place to start my career as an NFL football player. And I go to five wonderful years, and those are the years that made Terry Metcalf known, not with the Toronto Argonauts, not with the Washington Redskins, but it was the St. Louis Cardinals, number 21, uh, on Sundays or Saturdays or whatever day it may have to be. As much as people want to hear about the old Cardinals stories and the cardiac cards and Terry Medcalf, really, guys, the main reason you should listen is to find out how Terry is changing lives today and as we speak. Great job, man. Appreciate the time. Be good. Be safe. Thank you, David.